So, Daphne Lane's base. A nice tiny house with a beautiful little, I don't know, cupola uh, as a roof. GP's contribution to the spawn island. A nice lighthouse so you don't crush your boat. And then the silent and I and we have a screaming skull in a crown. <laughs> Are we the baddies? What is up the world of the living? My name is Lyxfi and welcome to Truly Bedrock. Now last time when we've been pranked, they left this skull made of diorite and one block thick over our island for whatever reason they wanted and felt like. So, me being the person that I am, of course I couldn't pass a skull and I decided that I'll just roll with it. And then I attempted my own one on the other side of it to kinda, you know, show people how it is done. Come on, bot. Bot me. Bot me up inside. And so, looking at it from a distance, because of course uh, you gotta look at things like that from a distance. Yeah! I think you can tell that it looks moderately better than whatever direct monstrosity Foxy and Gruel left in the previous video. Yep. Yeah, um, the problem now is that it's kind of just floating there, unsupported by anything. So today we're gonna do exactly a fix for that. Now the general idea here is actually pretty interesting, or at least it seems to me. I imagine this island less as an actual fortress and less even as an actual base, but more as a temporary shipyard that we've kind of, you know, built. A piratey themed shipyard with the goal of assembling the strongest possible ship to sail away from this island, from these islands even. The ship uh, Silent and I will use to escape season, one, uh, season zero and enter season one. Now, we're actually running a really tight race here because Gruva already has his uh, his turtle, so we only have enough time for before Gruva builds any fortifications on top of the turtle and tames it, supposedly. Uh, so yeah, we don't have much time and we need to kind of press on with it, which is why I prepared this plan. Hi, Sarah. I prepared this plan as to what to build around here. And what to build around here starts with this giant backwards L you see on here. That will be our basic fortifications, just to prevent any further pranks and just to establish it uh, ourselves as more of a, you know, hey, threatening people. Uh, the idea here is that we need to squat somewhere for now, uh, now that, you know, the inn is across the pond. And this is the area where we will squat, this is the area where we will have uh, some armor, maybe a, some rudimentary basic storage system, uh, but not for too long because ultimately I want our storage system to be inside of the ship that we, we're gonna build. Now, uh, that's the red L, it will be the fort which from which we will be defending the island from across the pond. Then the uh, little area looking like a tiny skull, it's gonna be another building, actually. This is where I want us to have a little ship uh, sheepyard, even. You know, the ba ba ones, not the splush splush ones. And what I want from it is for it to be a giant weavery? I don't know, spinnery? Um, thing that produces cloth, basically. You see, the black area behind it that are mapped out. I want to not even be a building, I want that to be the product that this little woolery will produce. And what it will produce is it will, it's gonna produce potential sails for our ships. So it's, uh, I want right next to it, to on the ground, to lay an already finished giant sail with our insignia on it, which we still get to figure out, obviously, we need to figure out an insignia, but whatever, that's that small potatoes in the grand scheme of thing. But yeah, I want you, like, as you approach to see this giant flag just laying on the ground because we made it and don't have anywhere to put it, and the idea of rolling it into a roll is too smart for us to realize. Now, uh, this is not even the craziest thing I want. This is nowhere the craziest thing I want. I want our own beacon, obviously, not a beacon, a lighthouse, to be placed in here, as to, for ourselves, to avoid crashing into the island, even though Gruva said that what we sh really should do is we need to make some sort of a angler fish beacon uh, type 
lighthouse that will instead of like tell people to like swim or swim around cause them to crash into the island and uh, so we can use their ship as uh, ships as you know spare parts for our ones and my own personal great idea here is to use this particular area as a little storage for monsters for sea creatures we found and are also using as spare parts because uh, the idea here is that silent is this you know redstone crazy genius and i'm also constantly mucking about with monsters so it would be understandable that we can't even build a ship without it being some magic voodoo juju with I don't know, being pulled by a crack and, and using giant fins of a giant uh, shark as our, you know, kind of maneuvering, uh, maneuvering engine or something like that. That's what I want. That's what I want uh, for people to like look at this island, see the bad omen in the sky and be like, that place. <laughs> uh, I want people to look at it and be like, I have no idea what those people are doing, but it looks scary and unnerving. And... I feel we can really, really, really try it out. However, however, I am also taking it patiently, which is just to say I'm taking it slow. I, f uh, in this video, we will not be building all of those cool things. We'll just build some of them, all right? And the some of them that I really think we should start with is the fort and the little, uh, what should we call it? The little tree yard around here because I want a crane. I want this area here to, to, to be a crane holding together, uh, holding and uh, kind of, you know, sewing uh, into parts a bunch of logs. That's what I, a bunch of a bunch of trees into some logs. That's what I want. And uh, yeah, to do that, we'll need a bunch of stone. If only we have a beacon factory. Oh wait, we do. So here's what we got so far, and it is looking like a very hungry chest piece. Chest piece, not chest piece, not chest piece. Um, particularly a knight? I don't remember, I don't re recall, maybe an elephant. I don't know how what chest pieces are called anymore. Um, we gotta recontextualize it though, and uh, to recontextualize it, we'll add a whole another section to the side. And obviously, uh, complete the L shape by kind of bending it all. Oh no, wait, this is already a, a bend. This is already the L shape. Oh well. Uh, one thing I really do want is a little arch going from this building to this building. Uh, but that will only be conceivable once we get this building done too. Other than that, other than that, this actually kind of smooth sailing. Like, if I take that element of the in for the unfortunate and put it on top of this little area here. That already will look pretty good. Yeah, promise. So, uh, I, might, I might just do precisely that. I mean, why not? Okay, it took quite a bit of time and uh, I, I'm only done with like one wall of the structure, but I'm really starting to like it and uh, it's really looking kind of this medievalish fortification y housey thingy magic, something like that. I don't know, I'll be honest, I just opened Mythical Sausages channel and just scrolled through all of his medieval house tutorials. And uh, yeah, kinda tried to take one trick from his book, uh, another trick from his book, that kind of stuff. And on the, on the receiving end, we got this. And I'm quite happy with it. It's like a pretty freaking awesome uh, setup. You got this more house-like area, which supposedly you can even live in with no problem. There's a very large basement, which just ensures uh, that your house does not slide off into the sea, because this is a sandy beach, and obviously sand is terrible as a foundation, so you have to have a really large foundation for a house. Uh, this color even looks fairly fitting, or at the very least, so I tell myself. Uh, I especially love how there's like windows in the tower that you can kind of poke out of, and uh, that's, it's really medieval to have these little windows on your towers, uh, tiny windows which you usually would be able to just shoot your enemy with a crossbow from. Uh, so yeah, I'm really liking it. What's that? Crossbow's not in the game yet? Well, what even is the point then? Okay, you know what? Fine. 
If this game game is not gonna give me an uh, arbale, well, not an arbale, I'm technically a crossbow, whatever, it's the same thing. I'm gonna get myself an arbale of myself. Yep. Um, we're gonna build the one. Build the one. <laughs> Went full Mario there. We're gonna build the one. Arbale. No, we're gonna build a crossbow. But not one you shoot with hands. Although, you know, every single one is one you shoot with hands. No, we're gonna build a crossbow um, of rather, you know, large size pointed towards the sea. And you're like, Zloy, why are you an idiot? Why would borderline pirates, uh, who you obviously are, you and Silent, the undead, who are currently trying to build a ship, why would you ever have? A giant crossbow aimed at the sea. I mean, seriously, what's the reasoning there? And the reason is really easy. Yeah, the reasoning is fairly solid. Because, silly, we're gonna at attach a harpoon to it, like a giant one, right? Attached a harpoon to it, get that harpoon tied to the island, somewhere to the little giant basement, to a giant like hook on the island itself. And when a ship is gonna just kind of, you know, swim by, well, sail by, you know, go by, we're just gonna freaking harpoon it and just tie to, to, the, to our island so it cannot go away. And then we're gonna stab everyone, everybody on it and take all of the little, uh, all of the ship pieces and use those to create our own ship, which will be even cooler. Yep. Honestly, that's, I f that I feel is an incredibly fun backstory to this island. I honestly feel like that's a great lore, uh, little lore bit. Because, because really, it kinda combines the scrap punk idea of building your own ships, your own uh, tech out of somebody else's tech, with uh, the general age idea of when this all is happening. Because, you know, Minecraft is kind of uh, this medievalish type game, borderline fantasy land, that kind of stuff. And yeah, I don't know, this, this does look like a pickaxe for a bit. I wonder what can I actually do to make it more crossbow-like? Outside of, you know, put up a sign that says, this is a crossbow, uh, be very afraid. And now we... <clears throat> do this thingy magic because honestly nothing says says rope in this game better than you know what you call it birch fence gate that's what you might call it yeah birch fence gate really good as as rope um uh, this thing really good as string you know string is really good as string hooks really good as, as hooks and the Stone wall, uh, cobblestone wall, mind you, is pretty freaking awesome as those, you know, cogs that you rotate to recharge the, uh, whatchamacallit, the crossbow, the arbale, the uh, guillotine? No, guillotine is the thing that you use to kill people. I mean, admittedly, there's a lot of things in this game that you use to kill people. Still, though, uh, this arbale, let's call it, is perfectly fine now. With this harpoon going into the distance, and all that's left to do is build some ship remnants at the point of the arrow that I left. And frankly, I gotta say, even though this, uh, the, the, the fortification bit is not yet done from on the inside, from here it looks pretty freaking baller. I mean, honestly, look at it. Ignoring even that there is nothing that the that the string is currently attached to and that uh, the whole you know kind of the whole stair the whole stairway of it is a little bit awkward and i'm not necessarily a big fan of it it still is pretty cool and it's still looking pretty great um i really like i really like this idea i really like the idea that we were using uh giant harpoons to harpoon ships and uh, kind of grab their parts and use them in our own uh, buildings, uh, building of the, you know, of the shipwreck, or no, no, not shipwreck, the shipyard. Uh, if only the whole island was like this, with great ideas and interesting architecture, I would be so very happy. Just like this screaming skull. But yeah, 
regardless, regardless, regardless. I feel that's enough progress for one video. Uh, honestly, there's a lot of work to do on the inside of this area. And I don't have as clear of a vision as I would like to. So instead of uh, wasting many, many hours of time on trial and error, I would rather just upload this, like finish this video, upload it to you guys, get your comments and see what you have to say. Also, I really need to screenshot it and send it to Silent because he has no idea what I've built and I'm pretty sure he's gonna love it once he sees it. So, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Truly Bedrock. This has been Zloy XP. To be continued, have a good one. Bye bye.